So this problem says write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line shown. So first of all, what is slope-intercept form? Slope-intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line, and b is the y-intercept. So when I look at a graph, I think that the easiest thing to find on the graph is the, is the y-intercept, because that's where the, the line crosses the y-axis. The line crosses the y-axis at right here, which is a y-value of 6. So that means that the y-intercept is 6, or that 6 is equal to b. That's another way to say that. The next thing we want to do is we want to find another point on the line that's easy to see where it crosses. So if we follow our line, that point right there is not very easy to see. But we have a point here. Um, let's see, is that right on the line? I'm not positive that that's on the line, but I'm pretty sure that this one's on the line. Yeah. So once we've found another point on the line, we can use our rule that slope slope is the change in y divided by change in x. So to find our change in y, we start with this one point and we go up as far as we need to to basically make like a right triangle. So we'll go up till we get to 10. So from 6 to 10 we went 1, 2, 3, 4 units up. So that means that our change in y, if we're going up, that's a positive 4 change in y. Now to find our change in x, to finish making our right triangle, we would follow over to the right until we hit our point. So we just went 1, 2 units to the right. Moving to the right for x is a positive 2. So we have a positive 4 divided by a positive 2. If we can simplify, we want to do that. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that gives us, we found our slope is 2, and our y-intercept is 6. So to write our equation, we would write y is equal to, and in place of m, we would write our slope is 2, and we keep our x as x. We, we want our variables to stay variables and just replace numbers with the m and the b. So the x will stay x and the y will stay x. The y will stay y. So we have y is equal to 2x plus our b is 6. So we put in a 6 there. And that would be our equation in slope-intercept form. So I hope this video step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and also share with anybody who you think might find these types of videos useful. Um, I also have information in the description about tutoring if you would like to do private tutoring or also if you would like to support me in my project to provide free step-by-step -step solutions. Um, I have a Patreon page if you want to do recurring um, support or I also have a PayPal if you would like to um, help me in a one-time support. Thanks for watching.